channel so today I'm going to be kicking off some holiday looks with this blue liner with a kind of black smoky eye it is super Christmas appropriate I would definitely rock this for any Christmas parties or definitely New Year's Eve anything like that I think it would be perfect for I don't use cool tones a lot but it was a nice little step in the right direction because you have the blue glitter on your lash line however you still have some brown worked into the crease I also wanted to tell you guys about something really exciting I'm going to be having giveaways for the rest of the month of December and the first week of January. So I went ahead and used a lot of the things that I'm going to be giving away this month just as a kind of demo. But what I'm going to be giving out for the first week is going to be the Smashbox. This is the LA Lights Contour Blush and Highlight Palette. I love this palette because it is just so versatile. You have lots of different blushes, some beautiful highlight shades which I like to mix with the blushes to kind of make a um, more luminous blush which is what I really like um, and also I use this shade at the bottom for my bronzer and my contour today so I think this is really great for all skin tones uh, I think a lot of different people can use this so stay tuned to find out the weekly giveaways you can definitely go ahead and add me on snapchat I'll probably be giving a lot of inside information on there it's just Michelle Prindle just how it is on here but I'm gonna list all the instructions in my description box of how to enter to win this palette as well as all the other stuff that I'm going to be giving away for the rest of the month so if you want to see how I got this blue glitter liner or if you just want to get sneak peeks as to what I'm giving away for the rest of the month let's just go ahead and get into the tutorial okay so obviously I've already completed one of the eyes which I forgot is actually like my easier eye so I should have did that one on camera but it's fine and also I've already done my eyebrows and have primed my eyelids just with a concealer I also went ahead and grabbed my Too Faced Power of Makeup palette this was a collaboration with Nikki Tutorials I love this palette I just set the concealer with this matte white eyeshadow it's called Ivy and the next step for our eyeshadow look is going to be taking the shade Painkiller which is this um, matte medium brown eyeshadow um, and they kind of describe this as being the perfect transition shade so that's what we're going to use it for. I'm going to put it in the upper crease area with a large fluffy brush. And to start adding some darkness I'm taking this matte deeper brown shade, more of a chocolatey shade. It's called Makeup and Chill. Is that not a cool name? And I'm taking this on a more dense packing brush to work into the crease. As you can see, that shade is pigmented AF. And now that that color is laid down, I'm going to take a MAC 217, a blending brush, and take a little bit more of that brown shade just to start kind of blending it up and make it a lot more smoky and gradient. And I get pretty sloppy just because I do my base last. I always do eyes first that way I can be as sloppy as I want so I'm just like you know it, it doesn't matter. Now I'm going to kick it old school. I haven't used this product in a while, but I wanted to try it again. This is a NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil. This one is in the shade Black Bean. It is used and abused. I used to use it all the time. I'm just going to dot some on my eyelid. And just blend it in with my finger. Just keeping it on the very base of the eyelid, closest to the lashes. And now to make this look nice and smoky, I'm taking the same palette and going in with this shade called Wanted. It's just a really nice matte black eyeshadow. It's really hard to find a good black eyeshadow, but this one 
is good. And I'm just tapping this right on the base we just laid down. And now I'm going to go back in with that dense packing brush and that dark brown eyeshadow, Makeup and Chill. And I'm just going to blend that into the crease to make these two eyeshadows merge. I'm going to take my MAC 217 one more time just to blend that in even further. I'm taking my largest fluffy brush one more time to do a final blend in the upper crease area. With smoky eyes, I always work my way down and then work my way right back up. Okay, next I'm going to add a wing on top of all this just because it's kind of a guideline for the glitter we're going to add. So I'm taking my Tarte, Tarteiste, <laughs> what is this? So I'm taking my Tarte, Tarteiste, Tartist. I don't know, tart, tartiste, clay paint liner. This is the black one. And I'm just going to draw on a normal wing liner. And this doesn't have to be 100% perfect because you're going to go over it. So a lot of the stuff in this tutorial is very interchangeable. You can definitely use different products, different shades, customize it to what you want. But one thing you definitely don't want to skip on is a glitter glue. The one that I love is the Too Faced Glitter... What? <laughs> the one that I love is the Too Faced Shadow Insurance Glitter Glue. It is amazing. There are tons of glitter glue out there. Just make sure you have one because otherwise you're going to have glitter everywhere. I have a glitter glue and there's still glitter everywhere. So just imagine. Just imagine. So I'm just taking some of this glitter glue on the back of my hand. You don't need very much. And I'm going to apply it with a little brush. You're going to apply this pretty strategically because this is what your glitter is going to adhere to. So you want to make a nice wing with this glue. For the glitter, I'm taking this NYX Face and Body Glitter in the shade Blue. And you are going to get glitter in lots of places, so do your foundation last, please. And for the wing portion, I'm going to take a more precise brush to apply the glue and add the glitter. And if there's glitter in any spots that you don't want glitter on your eyelid, just take a little spoolie and just scratch it off. And before moving on to my face, I'm just going to take a little wipey and get rid of all the glitter on my face and then I'll be back. Okay, now that I've gotten about 90% of that glitter off my face, I'm going to prime my skin. Today I'm using the Milani. This is the Prime Perfection Hydrating and Pore Minimizing Oil Free. And I broke a nail right before I started filming. Really? I'm literally going to bed right after I get done filming this. It is Sunday night kind of late. I have to work in the morning, so I'm not going to be doing the most for my face as I typically would. For my foundation today, I'm using the Cogendo Aqua Foundation. I haven't used this one in a while. It's a little too light for me, but whatever. My brother-in-law just commented on one of my pictures on Facebook saying I'm too pale and I look like a vampire. I'm like, I mean, really? With a look with like glitter like this, I would prefer the foundation be more full coverage, but this foundation is really pretty though. It is a gorgeous daytime foundation. It's very comfortable on the skin. This is going to be a really nice 
winter foundation for you dry girls like me. And while I'm just using different stuff tonight, I'm going to go ahead and use the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye. I've tried it a few times, but I didn't have too much experience with it, so I'm going to try it again. I got a Facebook message from my mom saying that um, she left Ulta and she got the Real Techniques Beauty Sponge because she uh, heard some, you know, girls, I guess online or maybe like in the store talking about it. And I was like, really mom? You didn't buy it because I talk about it in every video for forever? Really? I actually really like this concealer. I think the problem that I did before was I used too much. And it felt gross. I'm going to go in with my Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder to set those areas. And as much as I don't want to use this product right before I go to sleep, I wanted to test this out because the last time I used it, uh, I don't know how I feel about it. So this is the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Powder Foundation. And it may be a little too light for me, but you know, I already look like a vampire, so what else is new? Now that we're set, we can add on our bronzer and blush and all that fun stuff. So I'm going to go in with my Smashbox. This is the... LA Light Palette Contour Blush and Highlight. I'm actually going to be giving one of these away for you guys. With this palette, you have an amazing selection of blushes, highlight shades, and then this shade that you can use as a bronzer contour. I haven't tried it for that yet, so let's go ahead and try it now. I want to go a little bit lighter on the face since we have an intense eye. So I'm going to use this as my bronzer slash contour with this little, little contour brush here. actually pretty nice. I'm also giving away the Too Faced palette. I forgot to mention that earlier. There's so many things, okay? I'm going to add just a little bit more like full coverage brightness to the under eye area. So I'm going to take the Kat Von D shade light palette and take this light highlight shade. This one, this one right here that I obviously love. While we're talking about giveaway stuff, I'm also going to be giving away one of the Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is the Ultimate Glow Kit, and it is, it is pretty amazing. All these shades are amazing, but the one that I'm loving the most is obviously the white one. Since I look like a vampire, thank you so much, Chris. Um, <laughs> I've been loving this one to mix with all kinds of other highlighters to make them more suitable for my skin tone. So what I'm going to do, oh, that's a little loud. So what I'm going to do is mix that white highlight from the Anastasia kit and mix in this gold highlight from the Smashbox palette. No. <laughs> For my blush today, I'm going to mix True Flush in the Highlight Coral shade because I'd like a more dewy blush. Ooh. 
kind of that was a little bit more pigmented than I thought. I've already picked out my lashes and while the glue is drying, I'm going to add my big beard like I always do. I'm using the Cody Airspun Loose Face Powder. The lashes I chose are the Coco Lashes in the style Diva. They're a little bit more wispy, which will allow you to see the glitter liner. To finish up the eyes, I'm going to start with the lower lash line. I'm going to go ahead and use my Marc Jacobs Highliner. This is the black eyeliner, and I'm going to put it in my tight line and my water line off camera because nobody wants to see that. So I kind of added the eyeliner on the lower lash line a little messy that way I can smudge it out. I'm gonna start with that shade Painkiller from the Too Faced palette and smudge that liner out on the lower lash line. Oh and I only put the eyeliner from the outer corner to kind of halfway that way the good lord what is in my eyeballs? And I'm going to take that dark brown makeup and chill shade on a small little angle brush just to kind of stamp onto that lash line, the lower lash line. Now I'm going to dust off my big beard. And before I add on my mascara, I'm going to go ahead and set my face. If I added my mascara and then set my face, I would most likely have a lot of transferring and I don't have time for that bullshit. I'm just going to use my Mario Badescu rose water because I don't want to waste my Max Fix Plus because I'm about to go to sleep. Just a tiny little bit to set those powders down. And for mascara, I'm using what I always use. I'm using the L'Oreal Telescopic Carbon Black. For the lips, I'm just going to do like a light nude. I'm not exactly sure what kind of combo I'm going to go with. Two of the things I'm going to try is the NYX Soft Matte Lip Creams in the shade Abu Dhabi. And um, I'm going to put it right here. Like usual, I'm going to put the darker one on the outer corner, which is Abu Dhabi, and the lighter one in the center. But this is the final look, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I always appreciate it. Definitely leave your requests for any holiday looks in my comment section. I would love to know what you would like to see. Again, don't forget about my giveaways. It only takes a minute to enter, and you have a really good chance of winning, seeing as though I'm a really small channel. <laughs> and another thing is, is... I bought all these things with my own money. I went to the store. I handpicked these items. These are all things that I really, really love and I want to give to you, especially during Christmas time. But thank you so much for all of your love and support, and I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys. And the next, and the next step for this, no. And the next step for our, and the next step for our, uh, <laughs> and the next step for our, uh, and the next step for our, uh, what? The one that I love is the Too Faced Glitter Insurance. No. The one that I love is the Too Faced. <laughs> the one that I love is the Too. No. The lights are getting hot. Hot like fire. Phil, you're so very loud. You're so very loud. Oh. Oh. 
come in here with the hood on. I'm going to come in here with whatever I want on. I'm going to bed. Okay. Love you. Love you. Definitely leave your... Definitely leave your... <clears throat> Definitely leave... There's something stuck in there. I always have shit on my teeth. The nice thing about being on YouTube is I only had to curl my hair from here up. This little brain gets tired sometimes. Also broke a nail. Let's not discuss it.